Okay, so after you're done your powder, I like to move on to the eyes. So I've actually already done my mascara and my eyeliner, which is MAC. It's a MAC eyeliner, but it's actually a double one. So they have one on each side. And the one I used was Pop Blue. So I used this blue one right there. It's amazing. I love it. Alright, and for my mascara, I just use some, I think it's Maybelline, no, it's CoverGirl, that's it, and, oh yeah, a tip when you're doing your mascara is, if you get that little clump in the end, really get it off, you're gonna have black all over your face, and when you do them, go like this, it gets rid of the clumps if you shake it back and forth, and man, get your fingers in there and just go like this, and it gets rid of the clumps, I know it may get on your hands, but, you know, you can wash them. So after you're done, if you want to use eyeliner, I did because I had a blue one and I think it will go, it'll work really good with the eyeshadows and it will complete it with my eye, right? So after you do that, then you will work on with the eyeshadows with your eyes. So I'm really undecided right now how much ones I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use MAC and it's this blue one up here, I forget the name of it but it is an amazing color. And I think I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of this. Um, Annabelle makes it, it's just like sparkles, it's like a blue sparkle, so I'm gonna put it over top. And I might blend in some L'Oreal Hip, the blue one maybe right there. And I'm gonna try to create a little like blue kind of green just to make it all go. And I might add a touch of silver. Annabelle makes the silver right there. So I might add some of that, or I might use some of the silver sparkle. For that, okay. So when starting your your eyeshadow, you really just want to start here and like go over. And remember, brush away from your eye because you don't want to get that in your eye because it does hurt. So I'm actually using a MAC brush, a MAC eyeshadow brush. Okay, so I'm going to start with, I have no idea, <laughs> I don't know which one to choose from. I think I'm going to try some of this. I can play with it. I'm gonna start here. And just go over. So I just finished applying just the first layer of this blue. So see like, this is, I'm not going to leave it like this, it's just how I'm going to start it. So I really like try to get it up around here, but if not you're just going to have like weird shadow. So try to just cover it all up in that area up there, and then bring it down. That's what I'm doing with this one. And I mean if your eyeliner on the top rubs off a little bit, just go over it. That's okay. So I think the next color I'm going to use is I'm going to do like a greenish color on the inside. So I'm also going to use a MAC angle, angle brush. So I actually don't have green. So I actually use is yellow. Just mix it with yellow and blue and green. brushes are really good for when you're doing like the insides of eyes and stuff because it allows you to really get in there and not like make a big mistake and smudge it. You guys are all gonna think I'm crazy, but I have this weird obsession with that way. There, so I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm doing this in there. I 
So after this, I think I'm going to apply some of the dark blue hips. Love it. So I'm adding the blue just down here. Ah. Okay, see, don't do what I just did. <laughs> I just stuck the brush in my eye. <laughs> now I have blue dust particles floating in my eye. <laughs> I'm actually just taking a little bit of the blue and outlining the edge of it. I know that today is going so slow. 